Hello, it's Erin. I'm back. Today I'm going to film a, another video, another bookish video for you guys, and that is going to be my favorite standalones. I'm not going to rank them. These are not what I like. Least favorite to my most favorite. These are just in a random order that I place them in because I can't rank them. I'm so, so good and because that doesn't give the book justice and some people have different opinions if they I like these books all the same and it doesn't matter what order they in so if it's your favorite book comes last does not mean I like it less so let's get started the first book I have here is a very good book that I loved by this amazing author that she is so amazing and I loved the writing in this book. It was the second book of hers that I've read and it was amazing and I loved it a lot. The, the book made me very happy and it had a lot of elements in it and that is Panic by Lauren Oliver. This book was very very good. I liked it a lot because it had like a lot of action and a little bit of romance on the side about these kids who play in these annual panic games at the end of the year and there's a big pot of money. The person that wins panic wins the pot and they can do whatever they want with the money and everybody has to contribute money towards this pot. It surrounds these players, the Heather and Dodge and you got Nat, all are playing for the games. There's romance, there's adventure, there's action. If you guys like all that, then I recommend this book because it is very, very good. And Lauren Oliver book on, she's very, very cool and very nice and I loved meeting her and I'm so great I got the opportunity to meet her. If you guys haven't read this book, you have to read it. It's really good and if you could, pick it up in the summertime. It's a very good summer read. It's not a contemporary, but it's like along the lines of YA. So if you really want a good summer read, read these. The next book is another Lauren Oliver book. The first Lauren Oliver book I read, I read this book in 10th grade and read it for summer reading and I wasn't reading at the time. And I read it because I needed to read something and this is the first book that I ever fell in love with that I loved so much and to this I still hated reading. But this book will always hold a place in my heart because it's so good. I read it twice because I wanted to read it again because I wanted to soak in the details that I didn't get last time and time I could enjoy it as a book lover and not as for a project for school and that is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. This book is very very good you guys. I mean it's not very popular in booktube community but I've seen a lot of likes on Instagram and Goodreads and all over social media and everybody likes this book and it was fantastic. It was very good. It's about this girl named Samantha Kingston who is like this popular girl in school. She has friends. She has perfect boyfriend, the popular crowd, you know, clicks and everything, a basic high school story. What happens is her life gets turned upside down when she gets into a car accident the night of a, of a party. Instead of dying, she relives the same day over and over again. And she has to learn how to save herself in the end. So I'm not going to give too much away about the ending, but it's kind of like morbid, but in a good way. I enjoyed it a lot. Like, this is one of my favorite books and I would read it again and again. And I love it. Very, very good writing. I love the style. I love the, how the chapters follow the days that she follows in the books. It's very fast read too and it was very, very good. I'm going to read it again. And if you're in high school, you could probably relate to it and the clicks going on and everything. So if you guys haven't read it, read it. It's a very, very good book. The next book I hold dear to my heart. I have a book talk for this book up on my channel. You can check it out right now. I love this writing of this author. I love this book a lot. It's the first contempt or new adult book that I liked a lot. And it's just so good and I loved it. This book brought me to tears at the end because it was over and I'm going to reread it again. It's becoming a movie. And that is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Guys, you don't know how obsessed I am with this book. You need to check out my book talk because I talk about how obsessed I am over this book. And if you want more information on what the book is about, you can check out my book talk. I'll tell you all of it, everything, spoilers. Another book that's popular on booktube and it's love this book a lot. It brought me tears. It brought me joy. I love this book so much. It's about a girl in college. Her name is Kay Collins and she's 
living with her brother and he lives in this apartment complex that's owned by an airline and her brother's a pilot and long story short she gets involved with her brother's neighbor Miles Archer they have a no strings attached sexual relationship he doesn't want love she doesn't have time for it let's just say a lot of things happen and it's not too pretty that's all I'm gonna say on the terms of this book you guys don't know how much this is one of my favorite books and if you guys need a good summer read and a very good contemporary read this because it really really does put you in that mindset if you're under the age of 13 I would not advise you to read it because it might be a little inappropriate if you're over the age read it the next book I have again like Lauren Oliver through two of this author's books in my video because I like them a lot the first book is the second book of his that I read these two are adaptations that's the reason why I put them in because they were good adaptations and they were also very good books as well I figured I don't really mention many of his books in this video so I figured why not throw some in and this first book I have of his was very very good I liked it a lot I, this is probably one of my favorite books out of his that I liked with the exception of the next one I liked this book a lot I enjoyed it I flew through it I saw the movie the writing style is amazing and that is Paper Towns by John Green I like this book a lot because it had a uh, road trip aspect on it and I actually travel a lot my family because we go down south and we travel my dad drives down south a lot and we travel from new york all the way to south carolina and we go a lot of road trips so reading this book i could really relate to it a lot and i liked it a lot and i love the movie nat wolf was so good and he portrayed the role of q so well it's about the surrounds the guy named quentin jacobson and margot roth spiegelman margot goes missing and quentin tries to go find her but the question is does she really want to be found so you probably have seen the movie, you probably read the book. I love John Green's writing, he's such an amazing author and he's so talented. I love his writing, I gotta read more of his books when they come out in the near future, hopefully soon. And I really enjoyed it, so I hope you guys read it too, because I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. Next book I have is another John Green novel that I loved a lot. And it was a movie that made all of us cry and... Yeah, you can get all the feels from that one. It was a really good book. I, mean, I got spoiled in this book, but I mean, even watching the movie just teared me up inside. And I had my mom read it. Most of my friends read it. My coworkers saw the movie or read it, and it's very popular. I love the book in general, and the writing was really good. And it was, it was a really, really good novel. And that is *The Fault in Our Stars* by John Green. This book, let's all admit it here, made us cry because it was just so good. I'm not going to spoil you guys. The ending was good, but it was heartfelt, and it got that punch in the stomach, but an ending a book has to do to you. The movie was good. You got Ansel in it. You got Shay in it, and they were so good in the roles of Hazel and Augustus. And This book was really good. I enjoyed reading it a lot. I love this book, and if you guys don't know what the book's about, obviously you've probably seen the movie or read the book somehow. It follows this girl with cancer. Her name is uh, Hazel Grace Lancaster and she meets this guy Augustus Waters and they are both cancer patients. It follows their journey together and they get into a relationship and it's a really good love story. If you, if you guys seen the movie, it matches very well to the book. So this is another book to book that a lot of us like in the booktube community. So if you guys like the movie, pick this book up and read it because it was very, very good. The next books I have are on my e-reader, so I don't have them in book form right now. I read them all in ebook and I've read them specifically for the movies. Now I like this author of his writing and he's very, very good and he's like one of my inspirations again like Veronica Roth with writing. He's the reason why I picked up a pen in the first place and I started writing because his words just captivated and inspired me so much that I loved writing and he was my inspiration from when I was in high school why I loved English so much and I read most of his books. I read them gradually at my own pace. These two books, I read most of them, but these two are the ones that I really like the most and I decided to put in this video and I want to pay homage to him because he's a very, very fantastic author and he is phenomenal. His movies are good and his writing style, I love it so much. The first book, I like the movie a lot and these two books, my adaptations. The first book I have here is really, really good. I like the book a lot. The movie was just as good, little changes, but it was still good. I enjoyed the book so much and I would read it again in a heartbeat because I read it like last year. I think this time last year I read it and the movie had just come out 
and I read it and then I saw the movie and that is The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. This book was really really good. I enjoyed it a lot. The storyline was so good and the flashbacks and the present and everything, the characters. Now if you guys don't know what this book is about, it follows specifically four characters. There are these first two characters which are Sophia and Luke. Sophia is a college student from New Jersey and she lives in North Carolina and she goes to Lake University and she meets this guy named Luke who owns a ranch and they meet through a series of events and he's a bull rider and they basically meet through this whole thing that he does with um, bull riding and they develop a relationship along the way. The other couple that the story follows is Ira and Ruth Levinson and they're a couple in the 40s and they're going through World War II. She's from like Vienna and they have this relationship and they get married at a young age. It was a very, very good story and it surrounds the fact that she likes art. He did anything that she was interested in. And flashbacks were really good too because in the book it takes place after Ira gets into a car accident. It happens in a snowstorm in the book but in the movie it happens in the rain but the flashbacks happen through letters whereas in the book he's sitting in the car and he's, he's like on the brink of death and he's trying not to die and Ruth pops up next to him and they're going through these memories that they had together and that's how the flashbacks happen whereas in the movie if you guys seen the movie it takes place through letters which was still a very very good idea to go about it still adapted the flashbacks while keeping the storyline at the same time and I really like this book a lot these two characters collide a lot but in the book Sophia and Luke don't come in contact with them until the end, whereas in the movie Sophia develops a relationship with Ira, which I liked a lot in the movie, where kind of like a granddaughter to him. And I liked the chemistry that they had between Britt Robinson and Alan Alda. I thought that was really good. And the movie also stars uh, Scott Eastwood and Melissa Boyce was in it too. And it was a very, very good book and I enjoyed it. And if you guys want to read a Nicholas Sparks book, pick this one up. You just are new to his writing. It was actually written pretty recently, too. Read it. It's very, very good. And I enjoyed reading this book and every minute of it. The flashbacks and the switches from the past and the present and everything. It was so good. I would read it again. I probably am. I'm going to get my mom to read it. If you guys need a Nicholas Sparks book to jump right into and you're curious, read this book. It's a very good, very, very, very good book. The next book I have of Nicholas Sparks is... This book was very good too. It was lighthearted, it was funny, it was romantic, it was tragic, but all at the same time it had all those elements and it just made the story very, very well written and I loved it a lot and it starred Teresa Palmer in it and it was really, really good and I enjoyed it a lot. This book was written like years ago in 2007 and it was still good and I read it. The movie was just as good. Adaptation wise it was okay but I liked the movie a lot. The movie was very very good. I saw it the week after it came out and that is The Choice by Nicholas Sparks. This book was very very good. It's about these two neighbors who get connected through a dog because the dog gets pregnant and blames Travis's dog for it and it's also surrounded by other stories as well because Nicholas Sparks just makes one storyline and brings these two characters together because we all know we want these two together and I really wanted Travis and Gabby together and basically they kind of date but she has a boyfriend but she doesn't know what she wants. There's like a little bit of a love triangle. Does she want her boyfriend or does she want Travis? And she's, she's confused. If you want a little bit of a laugh and a little bit of romance and a happy ending, you should pick this book up. There are some tragic moments in the book that will get you going, but I promise you this book has a very good ending and it's very good and it's one of my favorite Nicholas Sparks books. It's one of my second favorite that I put on, the, on my list because I just thought it was so good and it was amazing and I enjoyed it a lot. And you guys can read it because Nicholas Sparks is an amazing, amazing author and he needs to get more recognition on booktube because not only enough booktubers read his books. I love his books and uh, I hope you guys like it too. That was my video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like my recommendations that I gave you guys. I know you probably have seen my series videos, my favorite book series that I hope you guys took my recommendations from that. These are just a small list of my favorite standalones. I've read a lot of them. I have a lot more to read in the future which I plan to do in five 
get the time to read, but I will. I'll do another video with more series that I plan to read, more channels that I plan to read, and you'll be expecting more of those kind of videos because I like giving you guys recommendations on what I read because maybe it opens up your view of reading and it gives you more of an options to read or next time you go to the bookstore you go pick up one of these books and, and you buy them and you come home and you read it and I love going to the bookstore and I immerse myself into the book and I just start reading and I just get so engrossed in the storyline and it's just so good like even not even with standalone series and, and anything it's just, but standalones I hope to open up myself to new authors that I'm going to read more of their stories and can read a new journey that has a new character. I'm open to any suggestions. I watch a lot of booktube videos, book hauls and stuff, so that's how I get recommendations for these books. I hope you guys like my recommendations that I gave you. I hope you guys read them because they are very good. I hope I broadened your reading a little bit better and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're not following, my social media is my Twitter is at LettyFan93 and my Instagram is at DivergentFan93. So follow, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.